field of material science has been the science of microstructure, of these images, these pictures of what's happening inside materials. And it's not at all uncommon for a material scientist to have job responsibilities that are simply looking at pictures and interpreting what they see in those pictures. And in that sense, it's very like a radiologist, a medical doctor, who looks at an x-ray or a CAT scan or an MRI and interprets what he or she sees in that image. We do the same, but we do it for materials. My goal was to take this 100-year-old discipline of looking at pictures and interpreting them and try to get computers to help. We've developed a computer vision and machine learning based system that allows us to look at images of microstructures, which are the fundamental data of the material scientist. We now are proceeding to use that system in a variety of ways that impact uh, engineering, that impact science, that impact industry, that impact the publishing world, um, and put these together in a way that hasn't been done before. What we do with computer vision is use fairly standard computer vision tools to find features in microstructures. The system gives us fingerprints for images. Now what do we do with that? The first thing we can do is you can search for images. The search will spit out images that are similar to the image you've chosen. This is a useful application for dealing with an archive of images, as you might have if you were, for instance, a scientific publisher. This is a way for your customers to be able to find images, not just words in the documents that you, that you archive. It's also useful for corporations, industries, labs who have an archive of images of their product and want to be able to access that archive in a way that is visual rather than text-based. Now one more thing we can do with our visual fingerprints is we can find things using them. And this is really important in a lot of systems in which you have mostly good stuff and maybe only one area that's not good or where you have a rare feature. And this is important in two ways. First of all, rare features often are the features you don't want to see. That might be the first crack just starting to form in a material. You want to be able to find that, but it's going to be a rare event. Rare features can also be intentional features. They can be, we want a very small amount of this type of feature. And right now, how they're found is the human expert scans through the image till he or she sees the rare feature. With an automatic system, with a computer vision system, we can let the computer do that boring job, scan through the image till it sees the rare feature, stop and take a picture, report back to the human expert, what do I do about this? What we'd like to be able to do is evaluate microstructures without a human having to make an expert judgment about this microstructure at the beginning point. We'd like to do it fast in an automatic way, and we'd like to do it in a way that is reliable enough for an engineer.